Sometimes ecosystems are destroyed by fires, floods, volcanoes, or even human disturbances. But these ecosystems can return. The gradual sequential regrowth of a community of species in an area is called ecological succession. There are two recognized types of succession, primary and secondary. Primary succession is the development of a community in an area that has not supported life previously. Examples include bare rock, a sand dune, or an island that's formed by a volcanic eruption. Secondary succession is the sequential replacement of species that follows disruption of an existing community. The disruption may stem from a natural disturbance, such as the forest fire or a strong storm, or from human activity, such as farming, logging, or mining. Let's look at the stages of succession and how to replace or start a community. First, you have a pioneer species, which are organisms that predominate early in succession. These species are usually small and grow and reproduce quickly, like moss, lichen, algae, or grasses. Then, larger shrubs and even trees will make their way into the area. And finally, a climax community is reached, which is the stable endpoint of succession, which lasts for a long time. Climax communities are recognized by large, old trees. Thanks for watching this episode of Teacher's Pet. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter at SciencePet.